Let's go with a great question as well from Nick in Rockhampton. I hear so many people ask this one and I need a definitive answer. Hello, Nick. Hey, doctors, how are you? Ask the question. Sol- solve Mate. the mystery for us. Are daddy long legs poisonous? <laughs> well, look, I actually answered this in my 26th book. And my daughter came home from school saying, Daddy, 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 Daddy long legs are the most poisonous spider in the world, but they can't kill you because their venom can't, their, their poison can't get through their tiny little fangs into your skin. And that was wrong in four different ways. That's what I heard all the way through primary school. <laughs> That's four mistakes in that sentence. Four. <laughs> so solve it for us, Dr. Maggie. So, are they poisonous? Uh, okay, so let's run through it together. So they're not all spiders, are they? No, no, definitely not. So some of them are what they call opilionids. They do have eight legs, but they have only two eyes. Is that right? Well, they're they're a totally different uh, group of animals. They're kind of like <clears throat> like ticks are to spiders. Uh, the harvest men of the opiliones are like two spiders. So they they are very different groups of animals. They actually don't have venom glands at all. So so firstly, they're so not daddy spiders. long legs are not actually spiders. Some well, are and some, some aren't. are. Some okay. are. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, Jeez. poisonous is the wrong word. You got to call it venomous. Okay, I'm sure. being a bit pedantic here, right? <laughs> number two, yeah. Um, number three, um, their fangs can be long enough to penetrate. Well, they could, I mean, you know, human skin isn't all that tough, but I think it would be, you'd be hard pressed. I mean, generally the, the harvest men, the apiliones that are not spiders and don't have venom glands, they catch their prey because they're very fast and they just rip it apart and eat it. So they're not, <laughs> the insect world is a very tough place to be. So <laughs> they, there's no need to envenomate them. They just kind of shred it and eat it. There you go. It's a great question. Oh. Thanks, Nick. And there's one more too. There actually is a daddy long leg spider in Australia. So ah. there's, it depends on the common name. So scientists use different ways of naming things that are a little bit more specific, which is why we're talking about apiliones and then calling them harvestmen. So in Australia, there actually is a spider called a daddy long legs. In the US, we call it a cellar spider. In the US, the only daddy long legs is this apilionid, which is not a spider. And here, every, I'm from Brizzy and up in Rocky, you might see them too. I've got them outside my, um, the door to the outside. And and you can tell their cellar spiders generally the way I do it is because sometimes if you go outside and see the web vibrating, ah. have you ever seen that before? Mm. So that's actually the males are tuning the females. So they're letting what them know. That, what do you mean? They're tuning what? them. Well, that, my husband's a Queenslander. He tells me that's the term to use. But essentially, they're Oh, my God. It's like the way that we talk about tuning? It is like the way that Whoa. we Hang on. What do you mean we talk about tuning? <laughs> <laughs> Let me in on this secret. Everyone who's listening right now knows what Maggie's talking about. Well, Triple J looks. I think you're pretty savvy. You all know what's going on. So, so essentially, it's the way of letting them know that they're not food, that they're, um, they're you know, potential mates. Wow. Is your mind blown, Nick? Uh, yeah. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a firm no. Thank firm you no for the call. Okay, 